Hi, we are here to talk about capital, risk and the definition of resilience in the era where volatility is not a phase. It's a permanent condition. For the last five years, your primary supply chain strategy has been a buffer. More inventory, more safety stock and more money tied up in the working capital. This is risk mitigation through brute force. But the brute force strategy carries an unacceptable financial cost. We have managed to trade one risk running out for an equally dangerous one, capital stagnation. Look at a balance sheet. That excess inventory represents millions in opportunity cost. It inflates storage, insurance and interest expenses. Worse, it will set you up for the ultimate financial hit obsolescence. A sudden shift in consumer preference or a disruptive technology can turn that 50 million buffer into a right of overnight. Your traditional forecasting model reliant on historical demand and lead times are driving effectively using rear view mirror. They show you what happened and not what is about to happen. The problem is this, you are managing yesterday's risk at tomorrow's exponentially higher price. We need a strategic reset that moves the supply chain from reactive cost center to proactive intelligence that protects and generates capital. Risk alert. Predicted delay of 7-2 hours due to geopolitical instability and severe weather in the Taiwan Strait. Generative AI fundamentally changes the game because it uses external unstructured data to anticipate the risk before it crystallizes. This is a shift from looking at the correlation to understanding the casualty. Traditional AI has mastered the internal history of your enterprise. Your ERP data, your orders, your production schedule, that is important but not sufficient. It is limited to the confines of your own four walls. Generative AI models, however, are trained to read, synthesize and operationalize the world's knowledge at scale. Data Pillar 1 Geopolitical and Regulatory Shift Gen AI consumes hundreds and thousands of news articles, sanction lists, trade policy changes and political commentary. It establishes narrative threads and detects shifts in tone or a policy that a human analyst or a structured data feed would miss. This allows it to flag risk to a specific import route or a material source months before it impacts a lead time, giving you a critical head start for hedging or resourcing. Data Pillar 2 Climate and Logistic Interruption we can synthesize real-time meteorological, port congestions, and satellite data. This moves beyond simple weather forecast. Gen AI correlates predicted rainfall patterns with historical flooding data, port infrastructure capacity, and localized labor pattern to predict container arrival delays with higher accuracy than any standard logistic tracker. Data Pillar 3 Tier 2 Supplier Visibility this is critical for resilience. You can't contractually manage a supplier's two-tier remote, but Gen AI can use public information, local business registration, regulatory filings, labor movement reports, and even social media sentiments to identify financial distresses or material labor issue at the crucial sub-supplier. This provides the transparency needed to de-risk your extended value chain. This continuous synthesis of global event creates live, real-time risk profile for every major component, raw material, and logistic lane you purchase. The ultimate executive value of Gen AI is realized when it powers your supply chain digital twin. The digital twin is no longer just an engineering tool. It's a financial resilience modeler. It allows you to model in seconds not just the operational effect of the major disruption, but quantifiable financial impact. Gen AI doesn't just run the scenarios like a traditional simulation. What happens if port X closes? Instead, it provides the prescriptive solution, the optimal action to take right now to minimize the cost and maximize the operational continuity. Risk mitigation example. The twin identifies a developing typhoon in Taiwan impacting 40% of your Q3 copper shipment. The prescriptive response is reroute 40% of Q3 copper shipment now via air freight, costing only $20,000 extra but saving $5 million production delay and protecting $200,000 in future order cancellation penalties. The ROI is immediately visible and actionable. Inventory Reduction This intelligence translates directly into working capital efficiency. By achieving this level of certainty and real-time foresight, we can confidently lower safety stock on specific high-risk, high-capital components by 25-30%, to 30%, freeing up significant capital for R&D, CapEx or shareholder returns. Negotiating Leverage 
The system can analyze prediction of future material cost, geopolitical stability in a key region, and competitive capacity to suggest optimal batch sizes and renegotiation renego point for long-term contracts, moving procurement from transactional cost reduction activity to an alpha generating strategy. This capability moves your supply chain from reactive cost center to proactive intelligence network that locks in operational security and optimizes the capital deployment. Technology is ready. But transformation requires executive mandates and governance. To leverage Gen AI for resilience, prioritize these three strategic actions. Strategic action one, unstructured data access mandate. This is fundamental. Mandate that your supply chain technology initiative prioritize the ingestion of external unstructured data sources, news feeds, custom data, meteorological data, financial fillings, not just internal ERP records. We must break down the data silos between your four walls and the rest of the world. This requires a, data, a dedicated data governance strategy focused on external sources. Strategic action two, define a shared risk scoring model. The C-suite must align on risk. Work with your peers, the CFO, the COO, and the head of sales to formally define and integrate a shared weighted risk score for every critical component. This score must quantify the financial exposure, customer impact, and regulatory penalty associated with the disruption. This shared metric makes Gen AI's recommendation immediately quantifiable and actionable across departments. Strategic Action 3 Talent Repooling We must shift our talent focus from supply chain management to supply chain science. Your team needs to be trained not just in planning and logistics, but in interacting with and validating AI-generated insights. The future supply chain leader is a data analyst first, a logistics manager second. The era of buffer stock is over. The part to resilience is through intelligence and not inventory. Gen AI offers you the only viable path to gain sufficient foresight to protect your operational continuity and optimal use of your working capital. We urge you start the conversation on data governance and risk scoring today. In our next video of AI in Enterprise, we tackle the core of your investment. ERP and AI, the digital core upgrade, integrating the intelligence directly into your Infor, SAP or Oracle system. Thank you.